Hi and welcome to Grid Computing in Disguise. Let's suppose I am active in bioinformatics and studying protein relationships. I need to align our protein sequences to find similarities. For this task I investigate a Linux program called Mustang. The man patch states that Mustang does structural alignment of multiple protein sequences. Great, that is just what I need. I can, of course, start Mustang directly from the command line. Now this is going to get messy if I have lots of files. I need a way to organize when and how to run Mustang. What I need is a workflow management software, for example Taverna. You can download Taverna from taverna.sf.net. First I need to unzip it and then I can run the runme.bat. On Linux I would use the runme shell script. Starting Tavana for the first time takes a while, since it will now automatically update itself and download dependencies. In Tavana, every step of my experiment will be represented by a block with input and output ports. By connecting these blocks, I can build very complex workflows out of very simple steps. Tavana will also manage iteration and retry logic for me. As soon as Tavana has finished loading, I will install the ARC plugin. ARC is short for Advanced Resource Connector. You can think of it as a generic power connector, not for electrical power, but for computing power. It will present you a common interface to different grid systems. This means you do not have to care how a grid was set up, since you only communicate with ARC and ARC knows how to handle your grid. In the Tools menu I open the Plugin Manager. Then on the bottom left I click on Find New Plugins. Since Tavana does not know the plugin homepage yet, I need to press Add Plugin Site. Here I can enter a download site for the new plugin. The URL needs to be grid.inb.uni-lubeck.de. Tavana will now automatically download a list of plugins available at that location. After checking the box next to Arc Use Cases, I click on Install to start the plugin installation. We have to wait a bit while Taverna retrieves the plugin files and its dependencies. Now there is a new folder in Taverna's processor list called Arc Use Cases. Processors are those little building blocks I talked about earlier. As Taverna and Arc are both meant for sharing with each other, the plugin has a shared repository for use cases. This means that as soon as one person specifies the input and output for a command line program, everyone can use it in Taverna and run it on his grid using Arc. Before I can do that, I need to configure my grid access. I do so by right clicking on the Arc use cases folder and selecting configure Arc plugin. There is a lot of configuration options, still I only need to load my certificate to get started. This page shows the grid information systems I would like to query for resources. You only need to change it if you have your own private grid. Here I can take a look which grid resources I am allowed to use. I can also see the runtime environments or RE which are available at that grid. Using these RE entries ARC can make sure that my grid job gets submitted to a grid that has all the necessary programs installed. Now I can start using the grid. For example, Mustang is located in the Alignment folder. I right click it and select Invoke to test drive it. On the left there is a list of inputs that Mustang needs, which is only the PDB structures. Now I am ready to run the workflow. Tavana will use the ARC middleware to submit my input files to GridQ, which has Mustang installed. By using SSL certificates, ARC also makes sure that no third person gets access to my data. This view shows my workflow as a graphical overview. The PDB structures get sent to the processor, which will return standard error, standard output, the combined structures and a structure derived alignment. In the command line logging we can see that Tavana is waiting for the grid job to finish. You can configure the logging verbosity in the plugin properties. 
Now that the grid has executed my work, Tavana will use Arc to download the results to my PC. Arc also has very powerful data management capabilities. It can reference data from previous grid jobs or from external URLs and it can also manage storage elements. This means that if I work with a lot of data, Arc will just pass it directly from one grid job to the next. That way I do not have to download and re-upload my data for each grid job. When I want to take a look into intermediate results, however, Tavana will automatically download the needed data for me. As you can see, the standard output is the same as when I ran masking from the command line. And we have the wanted output files inside Tavana. All in all, running programs on the grid using Arc and Tavana is very simple. You basically need no grid knowledge. You do need a valid certificate though. My second example is from the field of medical imaging. Since this is ongoing research, I did not upload my use cases into the shared repository yet. I can load them from a file by right-clicking the available processors folder and selecting Import Arc Use Cases. Now that the use cases are in place, I can load the workflow. This complex workflow takes a set of about 70,000 medical images and extracts scale invariant features from them. These features are then clustered into visual keywords ready to be used to calculate cluster concurrency matrices. The interesting part of this workflow is that it deals with such huge data set. For example, the feature extraction step creates multiple gigabytes of temporary data, which is only needed for calculating the visual keywords. Thus, this workflow is greatly enhanced through Arc storage management capabilities, because managing all those temporary files by hand is nearly impossible. Running this workflow is very similar to the last one. We now just have multiple processing steps which Tavana will manage. In fact, every grid workflow using Tavana is that easy. By using Arc's resource and queue management together with Tavana's workflow management part, Coding arbitrary command line programs on the grid gets as easy as connecting little blocks. As you already know, a use case specifies the input and output data for a certain program. For Java programs, it is also a good idea to specify the jar as an input port, as opposed to being a static resource. That way, whenever I update my algorithms, I can instantly run the new version on the grid, without changing the workflow or the use case. The goal here is to reconstruct 3D brain volumes out of image slices. To get this kind of program running right, you need to tweak a lot of parameters, which in turn means testing often and with many test cases. By using the grid here, I do not have to limit myself to a few test cases. I can test using all the data, calculating test cases in parallel. And since this workflow reads its test cases from a folder on my hard disk, I can add new test cases simply by dropping new files into that folder. The last thing I would like to show you is my experiment. My experiment is a free web community centered around the idea of sharing experiments. Once I have orchestrated my experiment as a Tavana workflow, I can upload it to my experiment to help others out. For example, if someone else needs to work with Mustang, he can just nest my workflow inside his workflow. Since Arc provides a common interface to the grid, it does not matter if he uses a different grid backend than me. The principal idea here is sharing, and we don't want technology differences to block the way.